And this is why this time round you should not trust the Federal Reserve. Hi everyone, this is Pete here, right? It's been a while since I last posted because it was the holiday season. But now I'm back, right? Strong in 2023. The main thing here I want to talk about is the Federal Reserve has since raised another rate hike. Is this going to crash the market? Or actually, is this a blessing in disguise? Let's dive straight into it. So for those of you who don't know, actually yesterday, the Federal Reserve, while we are all sleeping peacefully in Asia... I'm sleeping. What do you think is going on? Right? Has raised the Federal Reserve rate by another 25 basis points. Okay? So this would effectively bring the rate of our Federal Reserve to about 4.5 to 4.75%. But... One thing to remember is that the Federal Reserve is not the only central bank in the world. There are many other central banks and they have all since done a much smaller raise. Okay, For example, Bank of Canada raised another 25 basis point to 4.5%. ECB raised another half a percent together with Bank of England as well. right? And even Bank of New Zealand is the only one that still kept it up at 0.75%. And Bank of Australia raised another 25 basis point. So collectively, you can see that right now, most of the central bank, for example, over here, right, you can see the Federal Reserve, the Bank of Canada, Bank of England, and even Bank of New Zealand has already reached the 4.5% mark. So will they raise any further? Now, take a look at this uh, chart over here, right? It shows you the changes of uh, interest rate all right, in the top 10 currencies. And you can see that other than Japan, the rest of the world has already significantly increased their interest rate, right, ranging from about 1% in Switzerland, which is still very little, all the way to the US, which raised the most, up to 4.5% over the last year. The key thing is, when the Federal Reserve does this, it really slows down the market. So while that is the main thing they want to do to fight inflation, One thing that Jerome Powell is very mindful of is also how to make sure that he doesn't crash the market. And when we talk about market here, we are not just talking about the stock market, but the real market as well, the economy. Because when they raise interest rate, it will actually slow down the activity in the real economy. So they have been talking about this thing called the soft landing, right? How do we achieve a soft landing over here? Now, first and foremost, I think we need to understand why are the central banks slowing down their interest rate hike because inflation is still running pretty hot, over 6% in most countries and inflation is the one thing that the central bank does not want, right? And interest rate hike is the only tool they have to combat the inflation. So why are they slowing down? Now, over here, I'm going to use the energy of a car driving down the road. And what do we have here is that the interest rate is kind of like the brakes, to the car, right? And what is the car? The car is actually the market, the real market, right? The economy of it. And what's increasing the speed? The speed is actually the inflation. The interest rate at one point, the, the Federal Reserve wants to increase it so high because the speed was way too high. The inflation was too high, right? The inflation was charging forward. But the main thing to remember is this. We do not want to go the other way as well, right? We do not want to go deflation. In fact, the Federal Reserve target goal is 2%. So the Federal Reserve kind of wants the market to cool down, right? To slow down because it was going way too fast, but it doesn't want it to stop, right? You don't want the whole car to start moving over here. And that's what the Federal Reserve is doing right now. It is to loosen on the brakes because he thinks that they might be reaching the optimal speed that the inflation should be going, right? Which is closer to 2%. Now, let's take a look at what Jerome Powell or the Federal Reserve specifically said in the last round of rate hike in February. So Jerome Powell talked about continuing to boost rates, right? In order to slow down uh, inflation, okay? And he said that you do not expect Federal Reserve to cut rates at all in 2023. And based on his statement, it seems to hint at another one to even two more times of rate hike of 25 basis point uh, for this year. Specifically, Joe Powell said that my base case is that there will be positive growth this year. So that's good because he really thinks that the economy uh, is still strong. And he said that it's certainly possible that the Federal Reserve will keep the benchmark interest rate below 5%. Now remember, we are currently already at 
to 4.75. So that really leave very little room for more than two rate hikes down the road. And this is why you can see that the market has been responding very positively over the last few days over what the Federal Reserve has said. And of course, this coincides with the earnings season and that's why we are seeing the market really soaring right now. However, what's the main focus for the Federal Reserve? And it is truly in this statement that Powell said, right? He said, it's a good thing that this inflation that we have seen so far has not come at the expense of the labor market. So really, in Jerome Powell's mind, employment is still one of the key factors. He wants to make sure that the unemployment rate is kept down and inflation to continue to slow down. And that's what we have seen over here, right? Inflation for core services, for core goods, and even energy and food has been trending down over the last couple of months, okay? And for unemployment rate, right, the job growth, although it has forecasted to be slightly slowing down, much of them actually comes from the tech world, right, the tech sector. So right now, the unemployment rate edge up a little bit, right, 0.1 of a percent to 3.6%. His target is to bring this down a little bit further, below 3%. And although there are about 100k workers that are already laid off, right? Take note, majority of their, them comes from the tech sector, which you can see from Jerome Powell's face, I don't think he cares because he really cares for the main market, right? The non-tech sector, really the blue-collar workers. But one thing to take note is that this layoff cannot keep going up because Jerome Powell ultimately knows that all this unemployment will eventually flow out of the tech sector and affect the rest of the economy. So this is something that he'll definitely be watching very closely. All right, so after I've said so many things, right, I'm sure many of you right now might be thinking, Pete, what are you saying? So is the market going to be in a bull market or is it going to be a bear market? I always say this, right, if you cannot convince them, you confuse them. And I think this is pretty much maybe what Jerome Powell is trying to do here, right, is that I do think that he has intention of slowing down right, the rate hikes because he does want to slow the vehicle down to a specific limit. So for example, here the speed limit is 40 uh, miles per hour for, for the whole economy, right? Uh, that's the 2% inflation rate that he wants to go after. And where do I think we are right now? I think we are at about maybe 20 plus miles. So actually we are slower, okay? We are slower than the speed limit already. And I think Jerome Powell knows that as well because he can see that the real economy is slowing down very rapidly and he does not want to make the vehicle slow down to a crawl, right? The economy to a crawl. So I think he is really going to start to slow down and eventually maybe even pivot. But of course, he doesn't want to send this news outright to the public, right? To the stock market. It's just like the song. <laughs> Which will actually cause the stock market to soar, right? That's not what he wanted. So over here, I think he's trying to give a bit of a mixed message, right? So it depends on how you read it, okay? You can look at your investment accordingly. Okay, so for me, I do think that the Federal Reserve likely is going to start slowing down, right? And maybe by the end of the year, they may even start to look at cutting rates because one thing we know for sure is that for every developed economy, it is not very tenable to have the interest rate as high as 5 to 6% because that really brings the market to a crawl. All right, guys, so I hope you learned a lot from this analysis. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments, okay? And if you like the channel, like the content here, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.